When we talk about enlargements to do with curve sketching, I mean, we're used to using them with uh, matrices and looking at matrix transformations. When we're talking about them with curve sketching, to do with curve sketching, then an enlargement is equivalent to stretching the graph parallel to both the x and y axis, axes um, by the same scale factor. Okay, so for example, if you had um, the, well, let's go with a circle. If you had the circle x squared plus y squared equals 4, for example, okay? So this is a circle centered at the origin with radius 2, okay? So let's say we enlarge it by scale factor 2. So if we enlarge by scale factor 2, this is equivalent to stretching it parallel to the x-axis by scale factor 2 and stretching it parallel to the y-axis factor 2. So the consequence of that is that we're going to replace the x with 1 half x and the y with 1 half y. So both get transformed by the same scale factor. So when get doing that, I'm going to have 1 quarter x squared plus 1 quarter y squared equals 4. Multiply through by 4, and we get x squared plus y squared equals 16, which is a circle centered at the origin with radius 4. So whereas the original circle looked like that and had radius 2, the new circle has radius 4, okay, and has been stretched and enlarged in both directions by scale factor 2, which has um, quadrupled its area, right? Because the area would have been uh, pi times r squared, so 4 pi for the small circle and 16 pi for the larger circle. Okay, so the larger circle is, has four times the area. Okay, so this is what an enlargement is. It's pretty straightforward to apply, um, but we could be asked to apply them to uh, parabolas, ellipses, or hyperbolas.